Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, X dot E dot L dot O. And today I'm actually thinking about changing my theme. There's been a lot of themes that I've made that are really, really good. So I'm thinking if I want to change it or not, you guys let me know below in the comments if I should try to change this theme. Uh, so I'm going to go through all the themes that I currently have that I kind of like, and I'm even going to compare them to some of the DAWs that's out there that Reaper has themes for. So let's go. All right. So here we are in Reaper and this theme is called peace. This is the theme that I've used over and over again for Reaper. I actually did some adjustments to the theme itself. And the way I did it was if you go up to actions, you go to show action list and you can just type in theme adjust. And we're going to go to this one right here that says adjust theme colors Lua, right? And this is the window that pops up. And this is what allowed me to change the colors of the theme really easy. And you can go to this color groups if you want specific things to be uh, darker or lighter. So that would be how you would adjust the theme. But this has been my preferred theme. I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. I really like the things that it has inside of there, like this separator. I like separators. Not all themes come with separators. This is one of the reasons I actually chose this theme. Um, I like the gray is not too overbearing for the tracks itself. I have my options for to add effects just by clicking over here. I have the little effects here. I can see everything in the track. My mute and solo is big. I have my center so I can pan it really easy here. Here are my sends. So I click on this and it'll pop up the sends option. So I think this was why I kind of gravitated toward it. So I can see if I have this track armed, so the arm is on, so you can see the A on there. You can mute or you're monitoring right here as well. Really, really simple. And it shows what I have it set on and I have mine set to record MIDI overdub so I can record over the MIDI. This makes it a lot easier for me, but I can see all these things in one little box. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's pretty much just right. That's why I really, really like this theme piece. This is what I gravitated toward. Um, the indention is really nice, so I can see where exactly the indent is. And if I wanted to collapse anything inside of the mixer, I can just hit on this little arrow here and it'll collapse all of them into the folder. So I'm going to go through a couple of other themes that I really like and some of the themes from DAW. So I'm going to start with the DAWs because it's a little easier so you guys can kind of relate to. If you've come from a different DAW and you're moving into Reaper, this may help you kind of visualize a little bit better what Reaper can do. So let's go. All right. And the first theme I want to actually go over is FL Studio Beta. It does have very familiar things of FL Studio, as you can see some of the buttons on here, uh, even the, the kind of loop or layout for their song mode, the record button, even the beats per minute and stuff. All this looks really, really good. Even if you pull up the piano roll, as you can see, I have mine floating right now just so I can have that same effect as FL Studio. My colors are a little different, but it gives that same kind of feel of FL Studio. And I'm going to pull up FL Studio so you can see. All right, so here is FL Studio. I just have some project open. And as you can see, it kind of has the same buttons and layout. And if you like double click on the MIDI, as you can see here is the piano roll. So I can change this inside of inside of Reaper to have the buttons light like this. But it pretty much has that same orange grayish look to it, which is really, really cool. All right, so here we are back in Reaper with the FL Studio theme. I'm bring up Soar and add stuff to it. Let's say I wanted to do selected tracks. So let's select these, right? I'm gonna hit on here, go to add selected tracks. And as you can see, you can have like a uh, sower in here and you can use like, you know, the snare and hi-hat and all that stuff inside of Reaper. One of the things I don't really like about this theme is the fact that you can't make these any wider. Like it only has like a certain amount of settings. So let's say if I, uh, I right click on here and I go to track layout, like there's no other default and separator is the only thing that you can do. I do like the fact that it does have a separator because I like separators in my tracks, but you can't really do anything other than that. So let's move on to the next theme. 
All right, and this theme is called Ecolet. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, but this one gives that look of cakewalk. So a lot of people that I know follow me on my other channel, I use cakewalk. And um, I really like this theme. I like the darkness of the theme. I like the color layout of it. It does have the same kind of uh, setup like it does inside of Cakewalk with these little top things up here. Um, I like the fact that you do have an option for a folder. If you go down here to the mixer, this option here will collapse all of these. And I was wondering if Cakewalk will ever come up with something like this. This is an idea that you guys can actually have to have folders collapse inside the mixer. It'll help out a lot when you're doing your mixes. All right. And it gives that little indent here, which is really cool. And you can make them smaller or bigger. Um, I like the graphic layout of it. And here is the piano roll. I like the piano roll itself. Um, very sleek looking. And it has the same cakewalk kind of orangish kind of look to it as well. So let me pull up cakewalk so you can compare. All right, and here we are in Cakewalk. As you can see, it has that same kind of orangish kind of look to it. The same player and head and timer up here. Really, really cool. I like the way they did that. And you know, you have your effects over here, just like it was inside of Reaper. I think they nailed it when it came to the look of the doll inside of Reaper. And here is a piano roll inside of Cakewalk. Um, I changed my to make it a little bit different but it usually is dark, just like it is inside of the Reaper one. So if I go back to Reaper, it usually is dark like this and um, inside of Cakewalk. So I really like the fact that uh, the person who made this did a, a really good job at pulling the likeness of Cakewalk inside here, even down to like the wave files. Looks really, really good. Um, it's one of my favorite themes for sure. Definitely a contender. So if you guys like this one, let me know below in the comment section. So let's move on to the next theme. All right, and this theme is called Cube X. This is more of a cube based kind of look, as you can see from the play and start and record stuff up here. Uh, it gives that same feel as it does inside of Cubase. Um, I do like the indentation on this one as well. And it has like a little fold here that you can actually see the collapse stuff. Um, and if you wanted to collapse inside of the mixer, they have a little folder down here. And if you click on the folder, it will collapse all of them down here inside of the mixer. Uh, it does have an option for a separator, but there, as you can see, there's a whole lot of uh, different ways you can make this look different, but it does have a separator. So I like separators, like I told you guys before. It is one of the things that I really like about having stuff inside of Reaper. And this is what the piano roll looks like inside of the Cubase one. Um, I'm not a fan of these little, little outlying box on it. That's probably like the only qualm I really have about it. I really like the layout that they have for the buttons and the piano roll looks pretty smooth. I don't have any issues with that. So let's try to take a look at it inside of Cubase. All right, so here we are inside of Cubase. And as you see, it has that big kind of mixer here as well inside of Cubase. And uh, I can pull up the piano roll inside here. So this is what the piano roll kind of looks like. It has that same kind of format to it, like right down here. Um, Cubase has a really interesting way of, of working. Uh, it's not something I'm really familiar with because I haven't really made beats inside of Cubase, but I really like the look of it. It looks like a very solid dog. But as you can see, it does have very nice sleek lines and it is very well copied inside of Reaper as well. So kudos to the person who made this Cube X. Um, very nice. And you could probably adjust it to where you can get the colors to be a little bit more like the ones inside of Cubase. But yeah, so this is definitely a contender. I really like this one as well. Let's move on to the next theme. All right, and this theme is called R Live. It is a, basically a copy of Ableton Live. Um, I think they did a great job of how it actually looks inside of here. Um, let me scroll down. I'm gonna right click inside here and I'm gonna show on the right side, All right? So now it really, looks like Ableton. So you have all your stuff over here on this side, on this uh, right hand side, which I never really understood why they did it that way. But, uh, you know, people love it. 
but you can actually do that inside of Reaper as well as you can see with just basically a click of a button. Um, I like the way they have it where you can you see all the effects and stuff in here. And if you go to the track layout in the mixer, it does have an option for a separator. So if I hit separator, boom, it gives me a separator for my tracks. Like I said, I really like separators. I know you guys are probably talking about it's not that important, but I like it, so I need it. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very clean um, interface, as you can see. Uh, even the piano roll is pretty cool. Um, I like the way they uh, set up the dark this inside of the track itself and uh, all the words are seeable inside here as well. So I, I really like what they did with this. So let's compare it to Ableton Live. All right, so here we are in Ableton Live and this is 11. As you see the little time stuff up here is kind of the same. They made it a little smaller in this inside of the actual uh, Ableton, but uh, piano roll looks pretty much the same. Uh, when you go to the mixer on here, right? So when you go to the mixer, you can see the mixer up here kind of has that same Ableton look and feel as it does in the one inside of Reaper. I think they did a really good job uh, of setting this one up. And then of course you have your stuff on your right hand side as you do in the one inside of Reaper. So I think this is a really good one, a nice contender. If you're a person that's coming from Ableton, I think this will help you out. And this one is called R Live. So let's move on to the next theme. And this theme is called Pro Tools Dark Clone. So this used to be free. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's free anymore. I do have a link below to all of these themes below in the description. Um, I believe the person who made this is actually charging for it now, but I just still wanted to show you guys because I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, there's things I don't like about it. Like it doesn't have separators. Like all the rest of the ones I've showed you so far. Um, and I don't have Pro Tools, so I can't show you a comparison of how it looks in Pro Tools dark mode as uh, compared to this Reaper theme with this dark mode. The thing that I didn't necessarily like about this theme was the folders, like it's up here, inside here to actually do the collapse for the mixer, which I don't know if Pro Tools has this option or not. Um, I've heard people complain about it before, but I'm not 100% sure. I think it looks really nice, really sleek. I like that it does have the indent here and it, and it has the option to kind of fold up the tracks as well. And I do like the MIDI editor inside here. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, with the green in there, like it does inside of Pro Tools and the green kind of uh, notes. This is the Pro Tools dark clone theme. So let's move on to the next theme. All right, and this next theme is called F Logic. Um, this is a Logic clone theme. A lot of people really like Logic themes. There are a whole bunch of different ones out there. This is the one that I like the most, um, just because it gives me a whole lot of options to do different things. And of course, it does have a separator in here. And you go to your track layout, you go to your mixer, you have a whole bunch of different options you can choose for your mixer in here, which is really, really cool. As you see, there's a whole bunch of them in here. And then you have your separator. So I'm gonna do a thin one and boom, I have my separator inside the mixer so I can kind of separate stuff if I need to in the DAW, which is what I really like. I uh, think you guys get the hint by now. Uh, that's something that I really like. I'm not too much of a fan of the master on here. I think it looks really good. Um, here is how the piano roll looks. And uh, I have it set on channel and for channel, for some reason, it grays out the notes. So if I wanted it to be like whatever the uh, track is, which is red, it would show the red inside here. But um, everything else with the channel, it does like a different color. So I'm going to leave it on channel. Uh, I don't like these boxes over here or up here. That's one of the things I don't necessarily like about the theme. Um, like I said, there's a whole bunch of different Logic themes out there. I'll have a link to this one below in the description. You can go check them out on the Reaper Stash. Just type in Logic as a theme and it'll be a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of different ones that you can try to choose and figure out which one you want to use. But this is the one that I like the most from that. All right, let's move on to the next theme. All right, and this theme here is called Default Kamala 5. Um, there is a 6 out there, but I like the 5 better. 
Um, this is my adjusted one. This was the first theme I actually started using when I started using Reaper. Just because of how simple the layout was of it, I felt like this was the one for me. Um, everything is on here, as you can see. Uh, you have like your center, your effects, you have your both effects on here. I think that's what kind of set this one apart from a lot of the other things that I was using. Really easy to add stuff, even to like add effects in here, right? And you had your little knob that can control it, which was really cool. I just had no issues really working with this theme. It was a theme I used so for a very long time. Uh, it gives you an option to see where your things are separated down here as well. And you hit on this little icon here and it'll collapse all your tracks. Um, it is a darker theme, so if you're not a person that really likes theme too dark, you may want to lighten it up uh, with the adjuster that I showed you a little earlier in this video. But this was definitely one of the better ones to me uh, to use inside of Reaper. So let's move on to the next one. All right, and this theme here is for Reaper Tips. Uh, Reaper Tips made a theme uh, he was using the Smooth 6. I wasn't never really a fan of Smooth 6 like that. Um, I do like what he did with his theme. Um, I'm able to adjust pretty much everything I want to in here, which, which makes it, you know, of course, better for me. And of course, it does have the option to do separators. If you go down to your track layouts mixer, uh, he has separators as well. So I can do my separators. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I like his indent where you actually have your other tracks down here. I set mine to the fader. Um, it usually comes with like a little knob on here, but you can adjust that inside the regular theme adjuster. You can adjust a whole bunch of things in this theme just from the regular adjuster. So if I go to that, and I go to uh, options and I go to themes. And at the top of themes, you should have this theme adjuster color controls and you can adjust so many things. So you can adjust your envelopes, your global settings, and here is where you have your track controls and panels. So uh, you can change any of these things on here, which is really, really cool. You can change the sizes of them too, no matter what kind of screen you're running it on. You can change that and adjust that in here as well. And here's the one for your mixer. So yeah, so this is a very, very nice theme. I like the uh, piano roll as well. I think it's pretty smooth and it's not too bright, not too dark. Um, I like the font that he chose for these. So I think this one is definitely a contender for a theme. So if you haven't already, definitely go download these. All, all these are free except for the Pro Tools one. And like I said, I think the person who made them decided that he wanted to sell it. So uh, there's that. If you were a Pro Tools guy, they do have a whole bunch of other Pro Tools ones on the site. So if you wanted to check that out, definitely check that out all right so what do you guys think do you think i should actually change my theme to a different theme peace has been with me for a very long time since this channel's inception i've been using peace and it's been about eight months since i've been using peace uh, the reaper tips is probably the newest one on the list and a lot of people have enjoyed it i actually have enjoyed it myself I may move over to it, but let me know below what you guys really think about all these themes uh, and how they actually work. I know there's some people that use different ones, like Imperial one where it has the great big mixer on there. A lot of people love that theme. Uh, a lot of people really like Smooth 6. I'm not that much of a fan of Smooth 6, but a lot of people actually use it. There's one called Hydra that's supposed to kind of look like Studio One, but I don't think it does. Um, and of course, there's a whole bunch of logic ones that people really, really gravitate toward. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know below which theme I didn't try that you think I should try and which theme do you think I should use from the list here. All right. And with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. Please make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel. And once again, thank you guys for watching Learning Reaper. Till the next time. Peace. Hey you, yes you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not gonna keep waiting here. All right, I will see you in the next video though. Peace.